tell us about your Irish roots. Okay, so my parents aren't from Ireland, but my great-grandparents were from Ireland, and my papa took a lot of pride in that, and he actually was on the committee that helped start the Springfield St. Patrick's Day Parade, so I grew up going to that a lot, and I guess adopted his pride for the Irish heritage and culture. That's great, and that parade is definitely very popular. It's become such a great tradition, so that's great that your grandfather was such a key part of that. And you've been to Ireland, correct? I have. I've been there twice. I went my sophomore year of high school. I went with my youth group, which was an amazing experience. And then after my freshman year of college, I had the chance to go with my best friend, who's here tonight. And we stayed with our awesome family friend, Helen's family, through the whole trip. So it was very long to do that. You still do have one more goal on your travel list, which I thought was really cool. 32 by 32. 32 counties of Ireland by the age of 32. So give us your your status update. How far have you gotten on this goal? So I was counting and trying to make sure that I hit all the ones I've actually visited, not the ones I've driven through. Um, so I believe it's eight. I thought it was 11, but it's, it's really eight. <laughs> and so I've got my work cut out for me, but Maria did it in 14 days, so I, she's going to give me her itinerary. <laughs> Thank you. And her favorite one is Donegal. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Okay. <laughs> oh, so now, speaking of helping people, you and your family have done a lot of really interesting work on a Native American reservation in South Dakota. I would love to hear more about that. Thank you. Um, so our family prides this... Um, Oh, Our family uh, has a lot of pride in this. Uh, my mother started this about 13 years ago. We go to Lower Rural, South Dakota on a Native American reservation where we work with these children to make sure that they don't lose their culture. We definitely want them to make sure that they don't lose their language and their dance. And so we try to, when we go, we try to really get them to stay in school and it has been quite an experience because you get to see how you change these children's lives and I'm happy to be a part of it and I keep going back. And within uh, the field of chemistry, there's a focus on, well, chemistry is part of STEM, what's very widely known now as STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I got it right. Um, and that has traditionally been thought of as like a very male-dominated field. So can you speak to that a little bit as a woman going into that field? It's actually funny because I wrote my application last semester, and this semester came into the first day of my new organic half credit, and I was the only woman in the class. So I thought, oh well, that's appropriate. Um, it's not really so much of a challenge anymore. There's a lot of, oh, well, you're doing a good job for a woman. And I want to end that because I'm doing a good job because I'm a smart lady, not because I am a lady. So it's hard to come over that by, thank you. It's hard to get over that by yourself. And when you lead forward confidently, people usually follow and they say, okay, she knows what she's doing. So it was, um, and anything you do, your, your goal in life was to, can you tell what the answer was to that? Because I just thought it was really lovely. Uh, it was to live a life of love. Um, I couldn't think of anything else more perfect uh, to say. Uh, being raised by my wonderful parents. My father's here tonight with me. Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, I've just been so blessed to grow up with, uh, I'm one of four, and my, my parents and my family, we all are in the greater Philadelphia area. Um, and I've just been so blessed and so fortunate to be in the family I was and to be so in touch with our Irish roots and it really it does come down to love. Love, joy, uh, family and faith, really. Yeah. Shailen is 19 and she's currently on a gap year and uh, going to be returning to college in September to study law. You decided to return to Philadelphia. Yeah. So how are you enjoying Philadelphia? What are some of your favorite things about this area? Um, I'm living um, up in Glen Mills with my aunt and uncle, um, so I enjoy that. All of mommy's friends have been like so super nice since I came here. Um, aunt Trish and Aunt Jackie. So um, like I like the city. I like how like everybody is just very welcoming, and I have no problems or nothing so far. And I want to stay. I could stay longer. <laughs> 
Um, and like I said, you're a student at Westchester and you're studying education, middle grades education. Um, some would say that's one of the toughest sort of phases of life to teach. So what, what drew you to that? And by some, you mean everyone I come across. I was like, do you want my teenager? Are you sure? I, I love them. Their kids are incredible. I mean, I've known all these little guys since they were little, but specifically that middle grades, I mean, that's the hard time in life. I think we can all say it wasn't our joyous years, but I think it's important to have that role model or that teacher or that person to talk to. And, and if I can be that to one kid every school year, I'm doing something right, but it's a great age. 